whooping Tuolumne County tonight at the State Route 120 James E. Roberts Memorial Bridge, high in the Sierra Nevada. This bridge was innovative when Caltrans built it in 1970, and we're using another innovative process to rebuild it with minimal impact on the community while enhancing the county's tourism industry. We got Corey Casey. He's a resident engineer overseeing this whole project. First of all, Corey, what makes this unique for Caltrans? Well, this is the first time that Caltrans um, has ever segmentally removed and replaced an existing bridge deck. Um, each night, we fully close the, the highway down, we remove a portion of the bridge deck, and then we replace that back with precast, pre-stressed bridge deck panels. The bridge begins a full one-week closure at 5 a.m. on Monday, March 27th. That will allow the bridge expansion joints to be reconstructed and the concrete to cure without the vibration created by vehicles on the bridge. The bridge will open Monday, April 3rd. Uh, Corey, we're up on the High Sierra. Cold, wet, rain, snow. One of the wettest and wildest winters in California in recent memory. What does that mean to these guys up on the bridge? Yeah, um, the weather, it's been a challenge to overcome. Not only, uh, you know, just the, the rain, but also the temperatures. Um, you know, we're dealing with a lot of materials out here that are temperature sensitive. Um, we've been able to overcome those obstacles and um, still keep this, tra this uh, project on schedule. And Golden State Bridge built two lightweight cranes so it could replace the precast, pre-stressed bridge deck panels at night while keeping the bridge open to residents, tourists, and businesses during the day. This is the first time this construction style has been used on a bridge in California. Corey, we talked about the innovation here. What was the alternative for Caltrans if it wasn't the innovation route? So the alternative was to fully close this um, bridge for two years. Um, that would be devastating to the local economy up here. Um, and using this method allows us to keep this bridge open and this highway open during the daytime hours. Well, and not only does it help the locals going back and forth, but obviously Yosemite, right up the road, big deal for them with tourism industry coming. Nightly closures are expected to be finished by the first week of April. The bridge will be open under one-way traffic control through the project's completion in November 2017 providing clear passage to Yosemite National Park and the many communities along the way. If you're on this highway, or any California highway, please slow for the cone zone. That's someone's mom or dad working beside the road, and we want to make sure everyone gets home safely every night. <laughs> 